Maria Cancer. This is a bonus reading for the second half of July 2019 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I'm reading them in the order of most liked videos from previous readings published for July and I'm trying to do as many as possible before I will go to retreat uh, tomorrow. Uh, so this is late at the evening or it's at least evening so I'm pretty worked out for today but I will try to do some before I leave uh, tomorrow okay so and this will be your love reading for sun moon and rising sign uh, also venus the reading can go both ways the drama is the same but it can be different castings to the different uh, roles by the universe so when i tell you this is you it can as well be the person or situation you are dealing with use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading because it will be very personal for you and it will not apply to all cancers okay so it will be different for different cancers on which side you are on okay uh, so for this reading i used the golden universal tarot with roberto de angelis and i will start shuffling your cards uh, so when i open your deck here cancer i see um the <laughs> ace of wands in the reversed and uh, the king of pentacles in the upright position so this might be a person an earth sign um capricorn taurus or virgo that might have lost interest in you but this might also be you uh, that have built boundaries and lost interest in something okay so i call the divine with love and light and here we have the seven of swords with the king of pentacles in the reverse i'm laughing because uh, he said in the previous card that he has lost interest but it seems like he's not truthful about this this king and the him it can be a she as well but as it comes as a king i call him he uh, so um either might have given up maybe it's too hard maybe it's too much to you know deal with uh, i'm not that person this person says that can deal with these kind of things i'm too weak i'm too vulnerable i don't have the skills i'm not good enough uh, so they might give up because of reasons like this but um, it doesn't have to be a lack of love it can be just i i, I can't handle this okay so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have two kings so king of wands together king of wands is usually sagittarius aries or leo uh, and this uh, king of pentacles we already went through so two kings it shows um, uh, two people being almost on the same level uh, with determination and the king of wands in the reverse she usually rather sticky person you know all the um the maniac dictators of the world <laughs> can be king of wands easily uh, and um, really charming people that's not so nice on the inside they want uh, they are creators so they use, they use their smile to create something that they want but they don't have the best intentions but i i really don't feel either the dictatorship or the other thing here uh, for some of you it, this it will be like this that you are dealing with this person and that's why you have lost interest because they are um, they seem a little bit lunatic okay and mm, might be also uh, not 100% uh, sincere uh, but this can also be a, a situation uh, where someone is tired fed up and tired of the drama from this king of wands okay um, it can be so many different things, but that's what I feel the most. The King of Wands in the reverse, it can also be you very pissed off with this um, King of Pentacles that doesn't uh, apply themselves to do the work or find themselves too good or too delicate <laughs> to do the work. So we can become rather pissed off with things like this uh, when we know that uh, self-work and personal work is, is uh, usually very rewarding so the person doesn't just know so they come out as a little bit lazy or a little bit indifferent so six elements and we have uh, seven of pentacles in the reverse with the king of wands in the reversed 
So this is a situation where someone loses patience with something. Um, so it seems like both people in this equation loses patience with the other person in some way or the other. Or one is thinking, I'm not equipped to do this job. And the other one get tired of the person not equipped to do the job. Okay. So six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us for a source. Yeah, that's usually what happens when there's too strong will involved and nothing happens. <laughs> okay, uh, so six seven, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Cancer viewers. So I want my dear Cancers. Yes, we're giving up on something that gave us a lot of pain and heartache and it didn't fulfill our needs and it was a little bit backstabbing ordeal so we'd rather be in this position alone and kind of healing and digesting what we have been through than being back here in the in that uh, kind of a little bit tragedy okay so it's done now so uh, i'm satisfied with the part of the prayer I was able to say. So I'll tune in to you, Cancer, for a few seconds here. So my dear Cancer, this will be your behavior and attitude towards them, outcome, also their behavior and attitude towards you. There. And this is your feelings for them common energies and their feelings for you so emotional level there and this is what's on your conscious mind about them and the situation itself and what's on their conscious mind about you so nine of swords we have seen ten of swords before here also nine of wands in the reverse so we don't want more of that that's for sure and it seems to go both ways and this is the uh, feeling level and we have a ten of cups here in the reverse so i think that someone was very withdrawn in the relationship or didn't act authentic or uh, it's like they had some kind of secret that they didn't want to sacrifice and for this instead the relationship was sacrificed so i understand this is sad when someone is acting like this but if we don't know their secret we can't really um understand why they acted like this but um, seven of swords chicken people okay people that's chicken they can't tell you the truth <laughs> even if god watches you know it's like no they can't okay so this is um, your behavior and attitude towards them and their behavior and attitude towards you and it's the star card in the reversed it seems like you have given up hope about the relationship and both of you kind of wants to move on on your own and trying to find something that's a little bit more interesting and prosperous. So with these two cards here, we probably want to work on our own economy, our own home, our own family, things like this. And the romantic crap that we fought so much of, we put so much effort into, um, it can as well go. We are not interested in uh, this it's like a spiritual mission that we kind of gave up on and now we are doing normal mundane things um, and uh, hope that our life will come back into balance and order and some kind of happiness again. Okay, so this is what's on your conscious mind about them and we have an ace of cups in the reverse. So you have a lot of love for them. You had a lot of love for them, but whatever happened or the many things that happened, uh, has made you not feel so exhilarated about this person anymore. Uh, so it's like you feel that you wasted your time, you wasted your emotions, you wasted your hope on this person uh, with the Ace of Cups there in the reverse. So you don't believe in a new beginning either. Um, you might still have some kind of hope with the star card that came, but it's very minimal. <laughs> okay, and this is your situation there. And, and this is uh, on their, what they are thinking about you. And we have the Empress in the reversed. So there was so much here. And now there's only, it's like the gold turned to sand uh, between your fingers. 
So you think that they don't love you and you your own emotions have dried out and, and they think they kind of think that you are the one uh, but um, with the Empress here it's something maybe you took too much responsibility in this relationship you told them this is how you're going to do it and uh, this is the time when you're going to do it <laughs> and they didn't want a mother or they might have you know mother issues it's something going on with this where they still they still kind of worship the ground where you walk on but they want to keep you on an arm's length distant so we'll see with the situation card what's going on with that the six of pentacles hmm so uh, i think the person kind of wants a mother and don't want a mother <laughs> okay so it goes for uh, for a, a girl as well they might want their boyfriend to be their parent uh, so they want them to be their parent but they don't want them to tell you what they should do and how they should act but they want all the benefits they want to have the benefits of it all but they don't want the responsibility uh, so i think someone has kind of used you for your kind heart and um, unconditional love uh, and you thought that by giving them love uh, you would get the same thing in return but this didn't really happen they just took and took and took and took and they thought that this was how it's supposed to be because either they are very unexperienced they came straight from their family home into your arms <laughs> and in this case of course they are not particularly educated when it comes to responsibility um, some people are even if they have you know uh, even in the age of eight <laughs> or um, seven or 12 they can have this level of responsibility but some never grow up like they can be in the 60s and still haven't grown up so it's like they were satisfied with the situation being unfair that you had all the parently duties of showing love towards them but they didn't have to obey a word that you said so that's what i think went wrong in this from what i've seen before with yeah um the little childish seven of swords also and here someone that's so stubborn that they will not give you back what you have given to them so even if even if it hurts so bad and uh, life becomes so lonely without you <laughs> they still don't want to you know they want to be set on that pedestal you have spoiled this person and uh, i'm pretty sure you have spoiled this person and someone spoiled them before you lay, laid your hands on them most likely <laughs> as well uh, so uh, everything will be fine uh, with between you two this person says uh, if you just go back to loving them unconditionally but not having any demands on them so um, they want to be the, the the prince maybe in the harem okay so maybe have a lot of people you know uh, fiddling with them and being nice to them and coming with their slippers and their breakfast and whatnot okay so this is your feelings towards them and with the page of page of <laughs> page of source here in reverse i'm thinking you're a tiny teeny little bit uh, bitter with them okay so but this is kind of good i feel that it's good in this position because you are seeing them for what they are and this is throwing you back to your own childhood because the reason to why you spoiled them in the first place was because you wanted to be loved. Uh, you didn't want to be unfairly treated, but you went, you, you became unfairly treated. And this triggered something from your childhood where you also felt unfairly treated. And with the page of swords, I'm pretty sure you won't let people uh, treat you unfairly anymore. Okay, so now you will be on your inner child's side uh, towards any person trying to... Um, take you for a donkey ride <laughs> okay so and this is the the bond between you two and this is on their uh, their emotional level like what they are feeling uh, so they are not happy with this uh, with you not doing your services towards them as you agreed upon from their point of view uh, how you were supposed to always tend to their needs and always be there when they called and always love them unconditionally so now they are very upset because their 
uh, their servants is not on place doing their duty. So that's very upsetting for them. And also their total worldview is changing. They thought they were something special and that you would never leave them because they felt like they were a little bit out of your league, probably. Uh, so they're very surprised with this. And um, the tower is actually very helpful in this situation because it might help them see um, your worth, okay, and take them down from the high horses uh, a little bit. So I think they have a, a big shock, okay. This person is shocked, um, very shocked. <laughs> and then we have the sun card in the reverse. So it's your common energies and it's, it's actually shows that there was a lot of love between you, like you could have been really, really happy the sun card is the highest card for love in the major arcana but since it comes in the reverse and um, um, i think this person that you were with they were blind to your value they took you for granted and they took your love for granted and your service for granted and now you are not there anymore to to serve them uh, so they feel it's a little bit narcissistic energy to be honest because the person is is kind of thinking that they are like the crown jewel of humanity and and they are surprised with you not seeing they think maybe they have lost uh, you know their mojo maybe they are not as attractive anymore maybe maybe you have found someone else and that person needs to be even more gorgeous than than they are so they are wondering maybe who this person can be <laughs> that have you know, replace them and now you're giving their service, your service to them instead. So it's it's a person being surprised and kind of not getting why, um, why things happen in this way. But it's pretty obvious why things happen in this way. With these two cards here, it, it shows that um, I think you were able to see through their, their bullshit a little bit and you were not happy with this. You were not happy with this at all because you thought that you were two people on the same level uh, trying to make each other happy and give each other love and work on the relationship and it was not true. The other person thought that you were there for them, like solely for them. They might not even realize that other people are for real. They might think that they are the central sun which everything revolves around uh, and they are very surprised that um, you are asking to get your needs met too. Um, it it's, doesn't seem sane from their point of view. So this is the highest card for love in the minor arcana and uh, 10, 19, 1 plus 9, 10. Uh, so I understand why you stayed. You probably love this person a lot, but there's no use to give love to such a person. They, they won't even appreciate it. They will just take it for granted like yeah this was what i was supposed to get because i'm this very worthy per person but as we saw with the seven of swords uh, i think this person isn't uh, particularly sure of themselves they're really fragile and uh, they're probably very juvenile and they don't think that they can make it out in the world without their little minions uh, taking care of them so it's probably a very charming person, like narcissistic, but charming, maybe covert. Narcissist seems very, it's very friendly cards also coming through. So they have a friendly surface. As long as you do as you want them, they wanted you to do. I think the King of Wands might be on their side. Um, and you are the Capricorn energy. For many of you, it will be like this, the, the King of Pentacles that have closed your gate for them and, and they are very surprised here being thrown out from your paradise uh, because the king of wands in the reverse is very much like this person it's like someone that has been spoiled their whole life and and think that they are something extra like god shows them to to go down on earth and be here as a lightning beacon for the humanity <laughs> so um, and now they are very surprised that you you didn't act with this kind of respect towards them. So their their real foundation foundation is of course crap. Like they don't really believe this in their heart. It's just um, it's just a blown up ego uh, to kind of um, um, 
help them get over how small they feel, how insignificant. Um, they think that strong people are supposed to take care of them. Uh, they have no, uh, no intention of becoming strong themselves. And they want other people to, you know, um, be there for them and, and take the responsibility that needs to be taken in different situations. So this is your behavior and attitudes towards them. And we have the judgment in the reverse. That's first card that's a little bit worrying for me when it comes to you, because it's like you don't want to see what you just saw. Um, you just want the love back, maybe, and you want to not make a judgment about this person but uh, for many of you it will also be that you don't want to revive the old thing here they are reviving the people that was dead and and you might not be interested in that but judgment is also a very good card for for seeing things clear and here you had truths that's in the reverse so it might be that you don't want to see the truth about this person you just hope that now they will see your value and come back uh, so this is the outcome. So we'll see about that. And this is their behaviors and attitudes towards you. So we have a six of wands. This person doesn't really give up. Uh, this is Leo. Leo. Uh, we have Taurus up there. And yeah, the other <laughs> earth, every earth sign here. And um, air, of course. Um, and this is Leo in, in Jupiter. Uh, so their behavior and attitude is... Um, they they still haven't, you know, really stepped down from their high horse. They are very surprised, but they still think the world of themselves that um, you will soon realize uh, what you have been missing out on and you will come crawling most possibly. And I, I don't think you will do that. You are hoping maybe that they will, you know, see your worth and wants to come back. But they just see their own worth and thinks that you will come back and fix it all. But it's a six of wands, so it's connected to the lover's card. So I would say that they still wait for you, but they probably wonder why it takes a long time uh, to, to come to them. 17, the star card, um, it's connected to eight, which is also uh, Leo. This is Aquarius. Uh, so, okay major arcana cards here i think uh, you are very supported by the divine the divine is also sending the tower on their feelings there um and they have uh, let you know what the truth is even if you are a little bit you don't want to see the truth because the truth hurts uh, but it seems like they are helping you to get this um, person to maybe wake up a little bit we'll see the outcome here and we have a seven of cups in the reverse so seven of cups is the kind of cards that give you, you know, you make you a little bit nauseated and you, your little tummy hurts, okay? <laughs> because things doesn't really go uh, your way. And um, seven of cups in the reverse, it's being able to see through illusions, but the illusions were still there and the illusions hurt. We wanted something, we dreamt about something and it's kind of a hopeless situation because this person is going on a little balloon up in the air and just waving at you like this. <laughs> so um, I will see what's on their emotional level here. That's the only hope I saw that this person will actually wake up. Um, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So uh, the divine is trying to wake this person up and uh, help them to see what's wrong. But um, they don't want to be awakened. You didn't want to be awakened either, but you became awake out of necessity. Uh, this person doesn't want to wake up. Okay, they want to live in their little uh, in their little illusion. Okay. And soulmate, no surprise to me with the, with the cards, sun and ten of cups and the star card. Your soulmate may already be with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. It's a little bit like a slap in the face <laughs> when when we're dealing with this kind of relationship. So, But they are your soulmate. You know, they went down in this body, probably very, very enthusiastic they, that they would be able to, you know, fix the situation, that they would be able to heighten um their conscious level and and fix the situation it seems like they have been lost to the 
you know, the, the time and the 3D reality. Um, but they probably teach you a lot of things uh, while being a little bit this um, um, full of themselves. Um, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So even this, um, their approach is going to teach them a lot of things. They are doing actions that gives them back a certain uh, kind of reward and uh, they will learn by this. I'm a little bit worried though uh, what their reward might be here. Uh, I want to see with the uh, Romance Angels Oracle. The Six of Wands, sometimes there's a person getting a lot of attention. Okay, past life relationship, you have known each other before and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Um, it actually came in the reversed. Uh, so I think you can't work with your partnership right now, but you can understand that this is a past life relationship. And I think that this this has, a, I think it's a king, uh, has maybe be, uh, been a king or some kind of authority in a lifetime you have shared with them before. And they're kind of still full of themselves and they think that you will, if you were their servant in an earlier lifetime, they, they kind of feel that that's your place <laughs> and you need to, you know, get pissed off and uh, not um, fall into the trap of this game uh, just because this person is, I don't know, um, how why they are so charming <laughs> because they don't seem to have a very charming personality. So I asked about... Uh, your feelings towards uh, them and we have romance cupid's arrow strikes but we can see also here in this that uh, on your end it's a very on this end here it's a very fiery consciousness that's kind of growing over to this person uh, so maybe with you refusing to be this person's servant uh, you will make them you know snap snap out of this um, but it doesn't seem like it will happen anytime soon because this person is still uh, very intrigued by their own beauty and wonderful self. So they haven't really understood um, that they need to wake up and become, you know, a partner to the rest of humanity instead of an exploiter of the rest of humanity. So I will take an advice card for you from the... Um, mystical wisdom card deck and we have enlightenment pursue spiritual growth so kind of you know uh, don't bother about this person you have a lot of beautiful cards here that wants to help you with your spiritual growth so probably this person have sh shaken you up into awareness maybe through a lot of pain uh, what we saw with the ten and nine of swords and all this and this have helped you to become uh, more and more enlightened so and that's the good thing that this relationship gave to you you have come into your own and are in search of something more meaningful to add to your life now is the time to meditate deliberate self evaluate and withdraw voluntarily from the world to seek truth and solitude Rest and a quiet retreat away from the daily routine will allow you to consider enlightened decisions and go in the direction of your heart. This may also be the time to seek advice and spiritual guidance from a mentor or an experienced person. Uh, mantra, I search for wisdom and mental clarity. Uh, so you really, you're a little bit, you know, uh, you don't want to have the clarity, but it wants to come to you. <laughs> so except that things aren't the way you hoped them to be, but they are actually better because you are about to um, reach uh, the goal of your soul uh, because of what you have learned from this person. Uh, your old ways of being, where you thought that the more love you will give, the more you will get back, didn't work. Uh, so you actually had to wake up from the little lamb and become more of an authority, like your own shepherd, uh, because you couldn't lean on this person. They were so full of themselves. You have all what it takes here. There's all these cards is about seeing the truth. Uh, so you have all what it takes uh, to do this uh, journey that you're so intended to. And it didn't go in the way you wanted. You want to love with this person, but they are not able to love anyone else than themselves right now. 
uh, so um, move on with this enlightening enlightened path and uh, you know go into meditation be more aware come closer and closer to your soul align with yourself uh, give yourself justice and see the truth more and more accept more and more things that's hard to accept um, and I think some kind of, kind of karma might be solved between you two by you kind of um, uh, elevating beyond them a little bit coming a little bit before them in your spiritual growth uh, so um, it will kind of shift the balance between you two, uh, how it has been in previous lifetime when you have been kept on the rug by while they were flying high in the sky with, with diamonds. Uh, and I can't see what will happen because he's, this person is still, you know, too full of themselves for anything good to happen between you two. But a lot of good things can happen for you right now. So focus on yourself. So, okay, my dear Cancer, I hope this helped. Uh, I guess you're puzzled about this situation. Um, you can go to my channel, click the little icon with my face there, my painted face, <laughs> and uh, uh, go uh, to the first page, scroll down a little bit. It's a lot of pick a card readings there. It's also the general readings for July. And, and um, uh, pick some reading which you theme, seem interested in and it might help you to take a better decision and understand more about what is going on with this person and what you are supposed to do how you are supposed to grow etc etc uh, I will also start with the general readings for August uh, on Monday and we will see if we will get uh, more answers for you then okay so my dear Cancers, enjoy the summer or winter if you are in the Southern Hemisphere and take really good care. Bye bye.